I'm Lily Diaz, your Ballard Product Specialist here at ENM, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about changeover. Um, so changeover is something that happens when you are changing a product or changing part of your process. So think kind of more along the lines of packaging. Um, changing a box size is something that is commonly thought of when you think of changeover. Um, a lot of times um, we're relying on a human um, to go and select the part that needs to be changed or potentially make an actual change so they're adjusting something manually. Um, that does mean human error comes into play. So we do have, um, you know, a little bit of a repeatability problem. Um, so that means you're not getting as accurate of an adjustment or maybe they're selecting the wrong part. Um, as far as the adjustment part goes, I, do, I have seen customers that use measuring tapes or they mark with a little Sharpie or something um, where they think the adjustment should be, but it's not always as precise as they'd like. Um, that means that they waste product, um, they could potentially have scrap product, um, or um, they just waste a lot of time making minor adjustments um, after the line has been started and is running. Um, so today we'd like to show you a um, new way to get you a reliable, repeatable adjustment every time. So let's take a look at the demo. So this demo is a little bit um, more of a linear adjustment um, format change. Um, we have a hand crank here that's just simulating the manual adjustment um, with our mount for the product that will be adjusted. And then here we have a linear positioning sensor. It's just tracking how far um, I've cranked or moved my, my product, my adjustment. Um, and then from here, we do have an indicator light. This is gonna help the operator, in this case me, just make sure which direction I'm, I need to crank and how far I need to crank. So we'll, we'll look at it once we get the, the product in there. Um, and then this indicator light right here is actually indicating which change of our product we want to use. Um, so we're all color coded, red, green, blue, um, helps simplify things a little bit. Now all of this is tied in through the IO-Link master here. So it's a relatively simple configuration. So right now it's in a little bit of a demo mode. So even though it looks like it's asking for the red um, adjustment part, it might not be. So I'm just gonna choose the green one. Well, looks like it was actually asking for the red adjustment part. So we're going to put the green one down just for now and select the correct part. So once I insert it into here, it's a little hard to see that um, light. So we're getting you guys up a little higher. Um, so it's telling me I need to turn my crank this direction. So turning, I'm turning, I'm turning up. Oh, I've gone too far. Now I need to go back the other way. And once I get that light completely solid, ooh, almost there, it will mean I've got it right in the right spot. That looks pretty good actually. So now we can run our process without the fear of having scrap or um, spending you know, extra time adjusting. Our, our process. Now let's just say we're done running um, whatever product we use with this red um, bar here um, and I need to change it for something else. So I put it back into the system and because I was you know not paying attention earlier I have to put my green in and now it's asking for our green changeover product so I can you know put it back in and do the whole process again. So this right here is just making it super, super simple, very visual, um, extremely repeatable. You're getting the same kind of accuracy every single time. Um, and the nice thing about this is it's a very low cost per changeover point. Um, very simple system to set up um, and relatively straightforward for an operator to use. Um, so that's kind of all of the demo that we've got to show you today. But if you have a um, changeover scenario where you're using a lot of manual um, pick the part or change over physical adjustments, um, this is a great solution for you. Um, if you need any more information or um, would like me to come and see your changeover application, please contact me using the information on your screen right now. This is Lily Diaz, your Ballot Product Specialist, signing off.